Hello everybody, how are you? I'm Bex and it's lovely to see you all. I have got my friend Medi Teddy here. So we are going to do some yoga today. Hello everyone. My name's Bex and I'm from the Starlight Company and I work in and around Hereford at lots of different schools, at the courtyard, at lots of different gyms, children's centres. So me and Medi Teddy, we get about, we do. And we're really excited to be here today um, for the courtyard, um, for Children's Mental Health Week and shining a light on on you wonderful children and all the fun that you have and we're going to have lots of fun today so this is Medi Teddy hello and he does all the postures as well look at him go he can do tree look wow he can do the splits wow he's much better than me I've learned he's a bit creaky though today this morning I've learned a lot from him so we're going to do some Medi Teddy um, yoga um, so I hope you are ready to join us so what do you need not a lot really just some space if you've got a yoga mat which is a spongy mat um, then great if you've got a towel great if you haven't got either that's fine the carpet is just fine so get yourself down on the floor, you can sit how you like, you can stretch out your legs, you can cross your legs, you can sit on your bottom if you like, I don't mind. So we're going to just talk first of all about what yoga is about. So Medi Teddy, what have we got with us today? We have got our building blocks. So we've got three building blocks. We have got a beautiful yellow, like the sun. We have got a beautiful red, and we have got a beautiful blue like the sky. And yoga is about three things, okay? So yoga is about the breath. So our yellow ones go to resemble the breath. So I've got a special ball here. I'm just gonna put my teddy down. And I'd like this to pretend to be like your tummy. So you're gonna put your hands on your tummy, like I'm putting my hands on the ball. And as you breathe in, I'm going to expand the ball. Wow, that's as big as your breath. And as I breathe out, you breathe out, the ball goes small. So can you breathe in for me? And can you breathe out? Can you breathe in? Wow, and can you breathe out? You see that? Wow, breathing in. And breathing out. You can lift your arms up if you want to, because your belly's got so big. And breathe out. Good, breathe in. And breathe out. And how do you feel? Hopefully you feel a little calmer from taking a nice big deep breath in and out. And you can do that any time. If you need a little bit of calm, just take some nice breath in and out. So that's our yellow. Then we've got our red block. And that is about our mind. So yoga is about your mind. So we're gonna focus our mind now in what's called a mudra. So that's a funny word, isn't it? Mudra. So that's a hand movement, okay? So I'm gonna come a little bit closer again. So if you do this, put each finger to your thumb and then the next one, and then the next one, and then the next one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or we can say some pretty little sounds called sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Thumbs up, well done. So what you did then, you focused your very clever mind. Well done, so we focused our mind, and that's really easy to do as well, if you just, sometimes I've got so much going on, I'm doing my maths, I'm doing my English, and my mind is all over the place, so I just need to focus, and that's a really good one, and then I'm like, oh, I can think again now, I understand, so if you just sometimes need a bit of focus, that might work for you, if not, think about our beautiful, colourful, expanding ball. So we've got our breath, our mind, 
And the next one is our body. So we do lots of stretches and postures with yoga and we stretch and open our body and it's brilliant. So what yoga does, it teaches us to balance those three blocks. So we've got balanced, everything's in balance. Sometimes life can be a bit like this though, a bit higgledy piggledy. And if we just use one of those, so like our lovely breath, and it, everything feels a bit calmer again. And like I said, with our mind just doing satanama, everything feels a bit calmer again. So that is what yoga is about, bringing those three things together. Now, I haven't done much in our body just then because we're going to do loads now. So let's start moving that body, shall we, everybody? Is your mind in focus then? Can you do two things together? Can you pat your head and can you rub your tummy? Good, well done. Sometimes I do the tummy pat. <laughs> pat your head and rub your tummy. Can you try it the other way? Pat your head, rub your tummy. Good, well done. Now, I want us to make, with those clever hands, a basket with our hands. And we need to do two things now, because we're going to push and pull. So we're not gonna put our teddy in a basket, we're not gonna put some chocolate in the basket, we're gonna put our foot in our basket. It's crazy. And we're gonna do two things at the same time. We're going to push and pull. Are you ready? Push, 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 and pull. Don't worry if it doesn't go all the way. So you've gotta push and you've gotta pull. Well done, it made it. Good job. So let's do it the other side. Are you ready? We're gonna push, 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 and pull. Yes, well done. Oh, well done. Good morning, legs. How are you feeling? Brilliant. Now, we are going to work with our legs and our arms. Can you show me your right arm? Give me a big wave, right arm. Well done. Now, give me a big wave with your left leg and your left foot. Woohoo! Over here. Okay, so we're going to tap your left leg, your left foot, and your right hand. Are you ready? Tap, 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 stretch. Ready? Tap, 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 stretch. And again. Tap, 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 stretch. Brilliant. Shall we go the other side? Have you got a left arm and a left hand? Hello, left side. Give us a wave. Now a right foot and a right leg. Hello, right foot and right leg. Okay, so let's tap. Tap, 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 stretch. Good. Without falling over, have any of you fallen backwards? We've got to stay strong in yoga. Stretch, as well as long. Tap, 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 stretch. One more. Tap, 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 stretch. Brilliant. We are stretched out and opened up. We know our right side and our left side. Our brain is in focus. Our body is full of breath. We're feeling good. So let's make a big bubble now. Ready? Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop that bubble. And again. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop that bubble. Breathe in. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Breathe out. Good. Breathe in. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Pop that bubble. Breathe out. Good. Well done. Super job. Now, we are going to clap with our hands. That's easy, isn't it? Everybody can clap with their hands. Shall we clap with our feet just for fun? Why not? So we're going to take two claps here. Clap. Roll back, make sure there's nothing behind you. Can you roll back all right? And tap the floor for two. You ready? Roll back, tap, tap. Roll forward, catch your feet. Tap, clap. Roll foot back, tap, tap. Roll forward, clap, clap. Roll back, tap, tap. Roll forward, clap, clap. Good. Up, up. Down, down. Are you there? Well done. Was that fun? That's so nice for your back and your spine. If you've been working, doing homeschooling really a lot, then your back might be all a bit squidgy down like this. Or it's just had a lovely massage on the floor, so well done. Now, we're going to try and stand up without touching the floor, okay? So we're gonna cross our arms. Your feet will touch the floor, won't they? But nothing else, are you ready? Cross your arms, push down and stand up. Yes, you made it. Now pop your hands on your head 
and sit down without touching the floor. Oh, I do the cross under. Good. Now try and stand up with your hands on your head without touching the floor. Good. And cross your arms and sit down without touching your head. I wonder if all your family can do that. That is a really good strength and stretch and agility task. So give everybody a try at that. Okay, see who's really good at it. Right, let's rock again. So this time we're gonna curl up into a little ball. Okay, really tight. We're gonna rock on that spine a little bit more. Ooh, can you balance at the top? Rock back. Ooh, can you balance at the top? Ooh, I over tipped. Can you take a rock and roll? Rock and roll. Now we're gonna rock all the way up to standing. Are you ready? Rock and up we come. I had to do a little jump. <laughs> okay, we're up on our feet now. So we're stood tall and strong. Let's warm up our feet. So let's go right up onto the balls of our feet, onto your tippy toes, and let's walk forward. Yes, we can do that one all right. Let's walk backwards. Good, well done. Now pop your heels in. So pop your toes up to the sky and your heels down. Dig, 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 dig that ground. Go walk forward, walk backwards. Good, does it feel strange? It does a bit, doesn't it? Now we're gonna walk on the outside of our feet. Walk forward on the outside of your feet. This feels strange too, but we really, it's important to stretch all of your foot. And all of, because we're on our feet all the time. Last one, knees come in, you walk on the inside of your feet. But it's really good for you. Explore that foot, stretch it out. Well done. Oh, now plant it in nice and strong. Now, has anyone been to the moon? Anybody? Meddy Teddy, have you been? <gasps> Meddy Teddy's been to the moon, everybody. What's it like? Oh, <gasps> he said he had to do big, giant footsteps. So that's what we're going to do now. Oh, <gasps> because you feel like you're going, you're floating. Wow, how exciting. You don't float, we'll sit you there. Are you ready? We're going to take a big, giant step forward like you're floating in slow motion and again up we come down we go land on that moon up and down how big can you make that leg good big arms as well let's go backwards like we're on the moon good moon walking everybody amazing now Wow, that was fun. Did we do it right, Meddy Teddy? Yeah, give us a clap. Well done, everybody. Good stuff. Okay, we're going to get our shoulders now and warm them up. Because again, if you've been doing lots of writing, I bet you've all been really good at your schoolwork, we get a bit tight up here. So we want to loosen those shoulders off. So reach your arms out, reach out. Pop your hands on your shoulders and let's take some nice big circles. Imagine you're drawing a circle with your tip of your elbow. Imagine that's a pencil and draw a big circle. Good. So how many degrees are in our circle? A little test for some of you older ones maybe. Draw a big circle. 360 degrees. Well done. Nice and slow. Right now let's get our arms like this. Go super speed. Go. Ah, wow, like a speedboat. Well done, and stop. Whew. Let's bring our arms the other way. So let's take them up and forward. Good. And have a think which one you prefer. Did you like going slowly or did you like going quickly? We'll try the quick one again now. So bend your legs, super speed, let's go backwards. Whoa, fast, 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 fast. Good, 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 good. And release. Whew. Lovely. So our shoulders feel nice and loose. We're feeling good. And that's what yoga is makes us feel. I think it's the best. And I've made up a little rhyme. So do you know your directions? We're going to bring our feet together. We have north. What's the opposite of north? South. So lean forward, bend your legs if you need to. East and west, we've got east and west. Then both arms go out. 
This is yoga. We love the big jump best. Yeah. Ready? We go north. Jump your feet in north, south, east and west. Two arms. This is yoga. We love the big jump best. Good. I think you've got it. Let's do it twice more. Ready? North, south, east and west. Two arms. This is yoga. We love the best. One more time. North, south, east and west. Two together. This is yoga. We love the best. Yay. Well done. Good job. You should feel a little bit warmer, I hope. Right, let's do, let's get those legs nice and warm. We're going to do some little jumps, okay? So we're just going to bend our legs. After three, you're just going to do a quarter circle. So you're going to jump to the side and then back to me and Medi Teddy, okay? Back to Medi Teddy here. All right, are you ready? One, two, three, jump. Good, then back to me. One, two, three, jump. Good, let's go the other quarter circle. One, two, three, jump. And back to me. One, two, three, jump. Fabulous. Now, we're going to do a half circle. So you'll end up turning and facing the back. So okay, we'll go this way first. Ready? One, two, three, jump. Now jump back to me the same way you came. One, two, three, jump. Yes, did you make it? Right, other side. One, two, three, jump. Bend your legs. One, two, three three, jump. Now those clever people among you know what's next. We're going to try and go all the way around in that what degree circle? 360 degree. It's not just yoga, it's maths as well. And maybe science, not sure. Anyway, so we're going to go all the way around, try and get back, okay? Make sure there's nothing around you. We're clear. One, two, three. I made it. Did you make it? Good, let's go the other way, okay? One, two, three, Woo! Made it, yay, have fun doing that. And legs are nice and warm, I know where I am. Let's have a quick spin as well. Let's bend your legs, swing your arms. Good work, body. Isn't our body fabulous? It's just wonderful, all the things we can do. Okay. So now the sun has come out and we're going to say thank you sun. We're going to do a sun salutation. You see it pouring in. So we salute the sun. We give it a big high five because without the sun we'd have, what wouldn't we have? We wouldn't have our light. We wouldn't have warmth. We wouldn't have food because it grows the food. Have a think of some other things. So it's nice in the morning to go, oh, Amazing, thank you, we salute you. And at night to say the same. Thanks for giving us all that lovely warm sun and light today and food. And these postures that we're gonna flow together called a sun salutation, make us feel like we've been out in the sun and we'll get really warm. So there's 10 to learn, are you ready? We've got number one, our extended mountain pose. Number two, you bend your legs and take your hands to the floor. And number three, you jump your feet back behind you to downward facing dog. So your bottom's up in the air. Let me go this way. Okay. Number four, you lower down to plank position. Oh, this is a strong one. Number five, you come all the way down to the ground. Number six, you come up like a snake. And I always like to say snake six. Okay, lifting up. Number seven, we flip our toes back up to downward facing dog. Number eight, jump your feet to your hands. Number nine, lift up all the way back to your extended mountain pose. And number 10, bring your hands to your heart. Oh yeah, I definitely feel like I've been out in the sun. Let's do it a couple more times. Are you ready? One, up, two, down, three, jump back four, lower down, five, all the way, what's next, 
six, the snake, seven, flip your toes, lift up to your downward facing dog, eight, jump your feet to your hands, nine, lift your arms up all the way, and ten, bring your hands to your heart. Good! Now, that was good in English. Does anybody know any other languages that they count to ten in? I wonder. I know some Spanish, so we'll do Spanish today. But if you want to at home say it in another language, then you go for it, okay? So we've got uno, jump, um, arms up. Dos, bend down. Tres, jump your feet back. Cuatro, lower to plank. Cinco, all the way. And six is the same with a s for seis and snake. Say siete. We're going to tuck our toes, flip ourselves up to down with facing dog. Ocho. You jump your feet to your hands. Nueve. Lift up. And diez. Lower down. We've learned, we've gone Spanish, we've done maths, we're doing physical activity. Tick, tick, tick today guys. Well done. So let's do it. Super speed. Are you ready to press that super speed button? Boo. Right, ready, go. One, bend down two, jump back three, lower down four, all the way five, lift up six, flip your toe seven, jump feet eight, lift up nine, all the way down ten. <gasps> Supercharge button off, slow motion on. Let's take it really slowly. One. Good, lower down two. It's hard to jump back, so step slowly. So jump, step one foot back and the other three. Lower down all the way, four. Come down all the way, five. Lift up, six. Flip your toes and lift up, seven. Bend one leg or both legs, step your feet in, eight. All the way up, nine. And hands to your heart, ten. Oh, that was nice and relaxing, wasn't it, everybody? What did you prefer, fast or slow? Who preferred fast? Who preferred slow? Who preferred slow, I did. <laughs> oh, lovely. Right, let's do some postures now. So, we are going to be peaceful warriors, okay? So, you're going to step, so if your feet are here, come to the top end, step your right foot back behind you, big step, okay? Turn your chest and your hips one way, bend into your left leg and lift your arms up. You are a strong, a peaceful warrior, also known as a surfer, okay? So we're going to go and surf. Has anybody been on a surfboard? Yeah, our legs are nice and strong, our hips are open, so we are riding that wave, Woo, surf in USA. Good, surf, surf, surf. Let's feel what the water feels like. So we're gonna dive down with the leg that's bent, go to that one, and then lift your sun up into the sky. Oh, lovely. Dive down, touch the water. Lift that sun up into the sky. Gorgeous. Dive down, lovely. Lift that sun up into the sky. Oh, lovely, and dive down. Now stay down, see if you can straighten this leg. Ooh. And we're gonna look up to the hand, give it a wave. Do you remember what we did to focus our mind at the beginning? We've got our sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na Ma. Well done, holding that posture all that time. Bend your leg, lift the sun up into the sky. Now turn both feet straight ahead, okay? Reach out, we're going to bend our legs and jump our feet together. Are you ready? One, two, three, jump! Yay, well done. Now step your left foot back behind you, okay? If I go this way, left foot's behind. But I'm going to turn my chest and arms open. I'm going to lift my arms up. And are reaching out. Remember our strong, peaceful warriors. Warriors of peace and kindness, okay? It's what we want to be. Okay, lovely. And let's go surfing. We're surfing on our wave in the sun shining. 
Oh, it's great. Splash, splash, splash. Let's go and splash into that water. Take our fingers down. Lift your arm up. Good. Sun into the sky. That beautiful sun that we've saluted. That's shining in through the window today. Lift up. Lower down, touch that water. Lift up, take that sun to the sky. Good. Down you go. And up you come. Beautiful. Let's go down. Let's stay down and stretch that leg. And tip the other arm up to the sky. Are you ready? So if you can't reach the floor, rest somewhere on this leg. And if it really is too tight to keep it straight, do bend it. Listen to your body, okay? Be kind to you as well as everybody else. So let's go. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. One more. Sa, ta, na, ma. Brilliant. Bend into that leg. Come up like a surfer again. And then take both feet to face the same way. Bend your legs, swing your arms, jump your feet together. Whew. Well done. How's everybody feeling? I hope you're okay. We're going to do another standing posture now. We're going to be a chair, <laughs> okay? Or as I like to think, we're going to be a throne. So you're either going to be a king or a queen. We're going to lift our arms up and put your crown on your head. As you do that, you sit down on your throne, hold your arms up, okay? So we sat back and you tuck your bottom under. Good, so we, our big muscles here are working super hard. So we haven't got that chair underneath us. We are sat on our imaginary thrones as regal kings and queens. Good. Do your legs feel warm if they do? That's good. They're working super hard, so you're strong. Well done. Now let's release it. Breathe in and lower down. Good. Now, do you remember at the start when we stood up, we practiced coming on our tippy toes? So let's lift our arms and lift our heels and rise up. Now, bend your legs like you did being a throne and lower down. We're coming into what's called a tiptoe squat. If I turn like that, keep your shoulders over your hips. Keep your legs bent, try to stay off your heels and lower down, follow your arms. Good, now bring your hands to your heart and stay here. Oh, it's a bit wibbly wobbly. Don't worry if you need to put your hands on the floor, that is fine. Good, again, tuck your bottom under so it helps keep you balanced and strong, shoulders down. Now, are you ready to rise back up, trying to stay off your heels? Here we go. Press down, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up. And lower your arms at your side, lower your heels down. Touchdown, we made it. Well done, everyone. Give those legs a shake. Whew. Now our legs are so strong, we're going to do our balances. So what's a balance, Betty Teddy? It's when we stand on one leg, like this. Showing off there, isn't he? And his lovely tree. Put him there like that. There we go. Good, so we are going to bring our two hands together like Medi Teddy showing us. This brings our right and left together, okay? And we're gonna see, we're gonna challenge, see if we can hold our balance for 10 seconds. So focus on a spot ahead. Choose something ahead that you can look at. You can look at Medi Teddy. Keep looking at him. Press down in one leg and lift your heel and put your foot on your other foot. If that feels okay, bring that foot up and place it somewhere on your leg. Now you don't want to push into your leg and pop your hip out. You need to stay nice and tall and strong like a mountain, okay? Or nice like a tree. So this is your strong tree trunk, okay? Well done. Are you ready? We're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, take that foot down. Did you do it? Open up your branches. Lovely. Now lower your arms. Let's try it the other side. Hands to your heart. Press them gently together, keep you nice and balanced. 
Look at Medi Teddy. Press into that one leg, take the other foot onto the other foot, or place that palpin along, bring it up your leg somewhere. Don't push it, remember. Keep your tummy nice and strong, keep everything aligned. Here we go. One, two, oh, I'm wobbling this side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay, well done. And don't worry if you wobble, don't worry if your arms are out here. All trees are beautiful and all trees are different and all trees are unique just like you okay so we don't compete against the trees don't compete against one another they go oh you're a gorgeous tree you're a gorgeous tree and they're gorgeous together okay so whatever you did it was perfect for you all right where are we going now oh let's go and do some bunny hops okay so I'm going to turn this way so you can see. We're going to go down to that downward facing dog position. So let's get there like we did with our um, sun salutation. One, bend our legs. Two, jump back your feet to downward facing dog. Three. Now what we're going to do is kick our heels to our bottom like we're a bunny. Are you ready? Hop and hop and hop and hop. So this is really good for your arm strength. Woohoo! And it's loads of fun! Jump! And jump! And jump! Well done! Come down! Give those hands a little shake out. So just roll those wrists round and go back to that sitting on your heels. Now broken toe pose. Circle your wrists around. Well done everyone! Woo! Give them a shake as well. Lovely job! Good, okay, from our broken toe pose, and let's step one foot forward into a nice lunge. So bring your hands on your thighs and lower your hips down. And we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. So we're gonna breathe and lift our arms up and breathe out, lower your arms down. Breathe in, lift your arms up, make that big circle like that ball. Breathe out, lower your arms down. Imagine your colorful rainbow ball. Breathing in, lift up. Breathing out, lower down. Good, all the way to the floor and switch your legs over. So that left foot comes around, plant it down so it's nice and strong and your hips are down. Ready to breathe in, make that lovely colorful ball in. And breathe out, lower your arms down. Oh. Breathe in, as you lower down, your hips might lower a little bit as well. And if you like doing the splits, this is a great stretch to do the splits. So you're opening up your hips. Okay, breathe in, lift your arms up and breathe out, lower down. Good. So our hips are nice and open now. So we're going to take one foot on the floor and the other foot on the floor, but we're going to stay low in what's called a little squat. So we're going to get ready to do some frog jumps. We're a bit like frog's feet. Our toes are to the corners with our knees and our heels are inside. So we're going to press our hands down and jump up like a frog. Jump! Ready? Jump up that lily pod and jump! Good! And jump! Woo! Jump! Good! Now stay down here little frogs and splash your hands in the water. Okay? Come. Maybe someone's splashed in the water, maybe someone's playing the drums on a lily pad. Splash those hands. Good, and what you're doing, you're keeping your knees out, your heels on the floor. If you find it tough, come up a little bit. Okay, and splash here. Well done. Now, we're gonna try for an arm balance. Ooh, what's one of those? Well, that's when our arms are down and we, our body comes off the floor. So. Your nice froggy hands, those sticky fingers, are going to press down ahead of you. You're going to, from your little squat position, walk your feet a little bit closer together. So you, the back of your arm, is you're going to rest your shin on here, okay? So the shin is the front hard bit of your leg, okay? Froggy hands down, lift up and over, and just start by picking one foot up and the other. Okay, so make sure you've got a good grip and then you might be able to lift both 
and have a little play with it, okay? So just start with one and the other. Make sure you've got something soft to fall on and then try and lift both. It's really good fun. Ooh, yay. Even if it's a split second, it's fine. So that's your crow pose. Well done. Oh, knees together. I don't know about you, but I want to lie on my belly now. <laughs> so let's go and lie down. Let's slide along like a snake all the way down to the floor and stretch your body out. Oh, that feels nice. Reach your arms away, your feet and legs back behind you. Good. From here, we're going to bend one leg and bend the other leg and then wrap one hand to our foot and wrap the other hand to our foot. And we're going to make ourselves into a bow, an arrow. So you're gonna press down in your bottom and lift your head, your chest, your knees if you can, your legs. And from your bow, you're going to shoot your arrow of love into somebody else's heart. Okay, like Cupid's arrow, we've got Valentine's Day coming up. So think about the person you love. Breathe it in and shoot. Bring your hands and your feet together. That love's going straight to you and relax. Oh, that's a lot on our back, isn't it? Oh. So let's do it again though. You might love more than one person. So we've got lots of love to give, haven't we? So bend your legs. Bring one arm round to a foot. Bring the other arm round to a foot. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your bottom and lift your chest and your legs up. Good. Now think who this love is going to shoot towards from your bow and Cupid's arrow. Feet and leg, arms together, shoot that love. And relax, turn your head the other way. Ooh, that feels nice. So here, if you don't want your arms stretched, make yourself a little pillow. And take your feet nice and wide, flexing them, a bit like our frog's legs again. So flexing them means you push out through your heels, not your toes. So push through your heels and just have a little relax. Shake your hips and notice how you feel. Notice how you're feeling. Can you listen to your breath? Can you feel your breath? I just heard my tummy, everybody, rumble. <laughs> Uh, you might hear that as well. Can you try and calm your breath down and slow everything down? Ah, Good. So while you're here, you stay there. I'm just going to come up and sit up so you can hear me nicely. Stay there. If you prefer to lie on your side or lie on your back, you can. Okay, so I just want you to take your mind away now. We're going to have a few minutes to calm, to relax, okay? So just listen to your breath. Feel that when you breathe in, it's like you're about to blow up a balloon. And breathe out. Fill your body with that lovely air. Breathing in. Breathing out and letting go. Now I've had some flags up behind me throughout this session and they are the colours of the rainbow. So I want you to take yourself in your mind to your favourite place outside. It could be your garden, it could be a park, it could be just sat on your front doorstep, it could be the beach, just wherever it is it's perfect for you right now. And I want you to imagine what the smells like. Is there lovely grass? Is there sea air? Smell it. Smell it so much you almost taste it. And then think about the sounds you might hear there. Would you hear anything? Would you hear just the soft breeze? Would you hear some birds singing? Any voices? Music? Whatever, I'm just giving you ideas, I'm just guiding you, but what's perfect in your mind right now is perfect for you, okay? And what does it feel like? How are you sat? What are you sat on? Or are you lay down? Are you stood up in your mind? What's underneath your feet? 
those feet that we've stretched have a think. Is there sand or concrete or grass, stones? Nothing, have you got your feet up? Are they floating? Have a think. So what do you feel? What do you smell, taste? What can you hear? And what can you see? Think of the colours, the things around you, pe another person or people. Or are you just nice and having some quiet time on your own? Whatever you see is perfect for you right now. And what we all are going to see above us is a beautiful rainbow. Okay. And rainbows are very special because they come out, don't they? When they give us a lovely present, when the sun's shining and when it's raining. We know sometimes in life the sun can be out and then we know sometimes in life it can rain. But when it does, those two things happen. There's a beautiful rainbow as a gift to us to remind ourselves of lots of things of that life changes all the time. It can be sunny, it can be rainy, okay? But we've got that strength and that colour within us to keep on going. So I want you to really focus on the red colour first of all in the rainbow. And the red colour is warming your feet and your legs and it's shining a light on your feet and your legs. Oh, and then you breathe out and you let go of your feet and your legs. And then the orange colour is shining brighter now. And you feel that warmth all around the middle of your body, your hips and your lower back. Okay, where your legs join to your body, that area, that middle bit. Oh, and that can be sometimes tight from sitting and it can come sometimes hold a lot of things that make us feel a bit emotional. So let that orange colour soothe that area of your body and relax you. And now the sun is shining on the yellow colour of the rainbow, so bright, it's warming you at your belly. And that's where your breath is really at its best, floating up and down in your belly, making you feel confident and strong and creative or oh, within you that power that sun strength is right there it's in your body as well and now the gorgeous green color of the rainbow is shining at your heart calming you down maybe thinking of makes you think of the people the places the things you love open that heart up And then it's the turn of our blue, sky blue colour, all around our throat. So we use our throat and our voice a lot to speak, to sing, to whisper. So let that throat have a little rest now. Enjoy that beautiful blue, sky blue colour beaming at your throat. And then we go up to a place in our body, it's called our third eye chakra. It's the spot between our eyebrows and the gorgeous deep purple of the rainbow is almost shining into your forehead. And all that clever brain that's doing so much work, just let it switch off right now. And then the lovely lilac color of that rainbow is softening all around your scalp the top of your head, the crown of your head. Remember those crowns we put on in our chair posture. And your jaw relaxes, your cheeks relax. And your whole body from the tip of your toe to the crown of your head is open, is swirling with those beautiful rainbow colours. Those energies are all open. So you're strong, you're open, you're confident, you're loving. You're beautifully spoken, you're connected, and you're clever. Wow, 
well done just let that sound just start to awaken you so if you're still lying on your tummy just wriggle your arms and draw everything in open and close your hands wriggle your toes roll your shoulders just bring everything in back to normal and again notice how do you feel do you feel like you've expressed yourself in new ways you've learned new things i do hope so and i do hope you've enjoyed it so just rest on one side and come back up or rock and roll yourself do you remember our rock and roll cross your feet at your ankles you could be in all different positions so i'm just trying to give you an idea to just come up and bring our hands together. We're gonna to say a special sound now, um, two special sounds actually. So the first is Om, and Om is the sound of the universe. So it's always there, it's the vibration of our world spinning and all our energy spinning. So you take a nice deep breath in, breathe out, Om. Did you feel that vibrations in you? I hope so. And the next is Namaste. And Namaste means a good old high five. Hopefully you've enjoyed what we've done today. And we're just like, yeah, we did this together. It was so cool. It was so fun. We had loads of fun. So Namaste, everybody. And um, watch it again. Uh, have lots of fun. Do it with your family. Just nothing's wrong. Nothing's right. It's all what's perfect to you to explore yourself. Keep those little tools up your sleeve. Remember your breath, breathing in and out. If you need a little calm down, remember your sata nama. If you need to focus that mind. And remember any one of all the different postures and movements we did in our body, just to shrug those shoulders off, stretch ourselves out, okay? So namaste, thank you so much. Um, and do keep following the courtyard and all the wonderful work they do. Okay, bye.